Hey, Josh Dunlop here from expertphotography.com. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you 12 cool shooting locations from Sicily. Now, if you're anything like me, you've just been watching season two of The White Lotus, looking at all the amazing locations they're shooting from and thinking, wow, isn't it beautiful? Well, I happen to have gone to Sicily three years ago to shoot a long exposure video course. It was my partner and I and the videographer from Expert Photography. Together we went and we shot an amazing long exposure photography course, as well as part of a black and white photography course. We were there for 10 days and we always do a lot of planning for locations before we get to a location to shoot at. But sometimes you're driving along and you happen to find the right location at the right time. And as I was going through our photos again, I realized actually there's a lot of places here that you just wouldn't happen upon. You wouldn't be able to do the research to find it because it's just a spot in the road where it happens to have an amazing view that no one else seems to go to. So in this video, I'm gonna share all of our favorite locations from that trip. We're starting off with a location just on the outskirts of Palermo called Belvedere Monte Pellegrino. This is a little hillside view. You have these winding roads that take you up there. And if you look out, you can see over to Palermo as well as the port down in the town underneath. Now it's a really beautiful spot to go during the daytime, but it's even better at night because you've got these winding roads and if a bus or a car goes past, you get some really beautiful long exposure photos. Now I must stress that we were in Sicily to film a long exposure course. So a lot of the photos you're gonna see here are going to be long exposure photographs. And we have found those locations with that in mind. Next up is the beautiful location of Cefalu or Cefalu. Not great at Italian pronunciation, so I apologize now. If you go into the town and out onto the pier, you can actually look back as if you're in the ocean, or the sea rather, and look at the town. It is absolutely stunning. You've got mountains in the background and you've got the town on the, on the waterfront. We wanted some better weather, meaning more clouds and a different kind of sky because we were there for sunset. We didn't get it, but it is absolutely beautiful, this town. If you go out to the pier, you'll get some really cool photos. For this third location, we got a couple of cool photos and we just happened to have found it while driving along the highway. We decided to pull off and explore some of the back roads. And immediately after getting off, we found both an amazing view looking back into the highway. You've got the depth of the photo with the pillars holding the highway up, plus the winding road coming across the frame and trucks and cars passing over the top. Really happy with that photo. A black and white photo of the highway. You've got the structure of the pillars, the highway going over the top. You've got the depth in the background and cars and trucks driving over the top. Then just around the corner, about 30 meters or so, you have water passing over a river. I won't call it a dam, but it's some sort of concrete structure that the water has to pass over. We managed to get some cool photos there too. Really happy with this location. And like I say, we just happened across it. Next up, we have another little town with a pier, only this time it's on the south of the island and it's called San Pieri. This was a really cool spot because we were able to go out onto the pier and the waves were crashing onto it and coming up over the top of us. So I was getting splashed, everyone was getting splashed. Ah, I'm soaking. We got some really cool action shots as the water passed over, not too long so that the water blurred, but not so short that it was just a sharp photo. We got this really smooth, movement of the water as it went across the pier. Great spot if you happen to be driving along the south coast. Next up, we have a really beautiful waterfall location. This has to be probably the only running waterfall in February when we went, and it follows a beautiful trail to get down there, and it's sort of on its way to, it's closer to Catania. Like I mentioned before, I think I mentioned before, all the links to the locations are in the description below. And you have to take probably a 20, 30 minute trail down to get there. But once you get there, it's beautiful. And the trail itself is really cool too. So definitely check this out if you happen to be passing. This next location is one of my favorites because I'm a diehard Godfather fan. I've read the book three times and I've seen the movie a bunch. And this location is a particular bar where Michael Corleone goes to ask the barman if he can marry his daughter and he goes and sits out at the front of this bar and you can actually go and sit there yourself and take photos, really cool location. But if you go out to the front of the bar, you can see a winding road and some blowing trees that go down towards the sea. Two really cool spots in one location there. Next up, we have the beautiful town of Casa Vecino Seculo. I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm sure of it. But we were exploring some of the back roads in the northeast of Sicily when we saw the sun was setting, the clouds were coming across, we knew we were gonna get a cool sunset. We knew it was really gonna be glowing. 
So we quickly drove to find a town where we were looking in the direction of the clouds and we just happened to have the best luck because we got this amazing view of this beautiful old town with the sunset. The sky is on fire. The sky is just on fire right now and it is mesmerizing. It's not a location that you would typically find. It probably looks different at any other time of the day, but we got a great photo here. Following on from there, we have a location just outside Catania called, and I'm gonna to have to read this off the screen, Faraglioni Asitreza. The great thing about this viewpoint is it's on the beach and it looks towards the east. It's on the east side of the island. And because it's over to the east, you actually get to see the sunrise over the sea. And with the rocks are out in the near foreground or the mid ground of the frame, you can get some really cool sunrise photos. We were hoping for clouds, but didn't get them. On another day, you probably get some much more spectacular photos. Next up, I wanna talk about the town of Syracuse. So this was a really pleasant surprise. Didn't really love Palermo or Catania. I felt that they were a bit dirty and, and crowded and driving there is not much fun. But getting out of those major cities and going to Syracuse, wow, it is a beautiful little town. There is a nice old market, a whole street that you can go down. There are boats in the bay. There's loads of places to go and shoot and it's just so beautiful. You can't miss a good location in the town of Syracuse. This next viewpoint is just another one of those viewpoints that we happened across as we were driving. So throughout Sicily, you'll find a lot of mountaintop towns, really beautiful from afar. So if you can get to a location that happens to be a couple of miles away and you know that in the background is beautiful mountains or hills, or clouds or, or anything interesting, you can get some really cool shots. That's what we did here. We happened across this viewpoint as we were driving down the road, got out of the car, camera on tripod, black and white photos. So you've got the structure of the scene with the contrast to the clouds and the hills in the background. And you've even got some wind turbines too. Really cool location to shoot this town from. The penultimate location in this video is a weird one. Now I'm saving the best for last, but this one is unusual because it's a pyramid. I think it's actually an art installation, but it's called Pyramid Parallel 38. And you know what? It's on the side of a mountain or at the top of a mountain. It overlooks the sea. It overlooks a tunnel and a bridge. There's cool photos to shoot all the way around and the building itself is very interesting to shoot. So if you happen to be passing, I definitely recommend checking it out. Now this final location is an absolute favorite of mine. It's called Popio Reale. Now again, reading from the screen here, it is a ghost town and it's been deserted since about the mid 1950s, I think. So there was an earthquake that just decimated the area. The whole town fell down, went into ruins and no one could go back in. So what they did is they moved everyone a couple of miles away, built this kind of a monstrosity of a new town that no one wanted to live in, lacked the sense of community and design of the old town. I think a lot of people ended up leaving entirely, but the original town is still there and it looks, it actually looks like it's not as old as it is because so much of it is still there and intact. In you can go park up outside, walk straight in. Now, there'll be signs that say don't enter. There'll be signs that say asbestos. This is on you. It's, it could be a risk to go here, but if you go in and check it out, you're gonna find old police station, old hospital, old buildings and, and fountains and churches and stairs. And it is really an interesting place to explore. I love exploring old ghost towns. So if you are in the area, I really do recommend you go and check it out. It is worth seeing. It's one of my favorite places that I've shot in Sicily and it really can help you to get some cool photos because the location is just breathless. It is really that good. And that's my 12 shooting locations in Sicily. I hope you enjoyed this video. Throughout this video, you would have seen photos that I shot throughout the whole of the island. And that was while shooting a long exposure photography course. If you enjoy long exposure photography, you'd like to learn some more, go ahead and check out the link below. If not, thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment, share some photos if you have them, if you do go to this location, and I'll see you in the next video.